Hello and welcome. Within this tutorial, I want to show you a clean slide where you can present a person and add some color to it. I'd also like to thank the sponsor of today's video, that is Deposit Photos. You can browse and download photos from this website, I'm sure you know it, so let us use it for our slide. Let us simply search for a person in suit. I want to create a business slide like that. You can see there's a bunch of results and there is something called isolated only. This way you'll have persons with already isolated backgrounds and clean images to use. I also use full body because I don't want like only a suit, I want a full person, full body. For example, this guy should be perfect. I'll click on the photo and since I already have an on-demand plan, I'll download a photograph. New slide, clean layout and I'll import the picture. Because I already have the background cut out, I am ready to work. I can do one small adjustment that will be crop and I'll crop it from the left side so it doesn't get in the way. As you can see, I used some gradient to bring some color because suits usually don't have a lot of color, they are gray. To not waste time, I'll simply put in gradient here. I have to remove full body, obviously, and isolate it only, so I have different kinds of gradients. You can also click on those collections, for example, vectors gradient, and you'll have ready gradients to preview. I'll put it on the side and I'll add a gradient here. I'm browsing for a second and for example, this one. I'll just create Alt 2 to go insert shape and I'll insert a rounded rectangle because I wanna put something behind them. I'll make the corners round and I'll right click format shape. Going to format shape, I wanna select gradient. You can see it already selected the previous gradient, but let's do a different one. This time I'll go eyedropper. I'll click, I'll move my mouse outside my screen and I'll start with the yellow and the second part, eyedropper, again clicking here, maybe the red one or the purple one, I'm not really sure, let's go for the blue, well I think the red one would be better, eyedropper, once again I'll switch to red, beautiful, shape outline, no outline. This way we have basically all things prepared for the design. I'll start to rotate it using my shift key to make a clean and normal rotation. I'll right click and send this to back. You can see we have a slight problem here because the picture still has a background, but since this is a white background, PowerPoint should have no problems removing it. Picture format, remove background, and almost very good. Mark areas to keep. I want to keep this guy, I want to keep his hand, and I want to keep his legs, obviously. Still the head is a little bit cut out, okay? Keep changes. Since the photograph is of such good quality, you can see the cut is very clean by PowerPoint. That's really what we wanted to achieve. Now I can duplicate this one. I can leave it in front of him, for example here, just so we have like something cooler, and I will extend it. This way, maybe take everything and put it a little bit to the left, so you have more place for the text. You can preview and we achieve something like a 3D effect because he's one time behind it, one time in front of him, and that's perfect. The rest was adding some text. For the text, I chose Poppins font. Insert, text box. You can insert a text box like that. I want a fixed size and black suit person this time. Okay, for the font, I told you I've selected Poppins Extra Bold and Poppins Normal Font. This is a third-party font, you have to install it separately, Poppins, and for the font maybe like 60. The rest is just adding a couple of text boxes. I can press Ctrl D, I can make this a normal Poppins font, the color could be gray, uppercase, and obviously like 20 for the size. Something along these lines to make a headline for him. The same way I would add another text box here. This would be the text part. If you want some kind of icons here on the bottom, like I did here, you can use the existing elements. What I do, I press Ctrl D to duplicate and I want this to be a circle. Shape format, edit shape, change shape and make this time a circle out of it. Right now the circle is squashed down, but you have the size options. You just press one, one, enter, 
and you have a perfect circle. You can even rotate it around with your shift key and beautiful. We achieved a perfect circle. I can duplicate it and put it in different places and I would have this circle on the bottom of the text. Now I made this a bit too big. I'll press my shift key and my left control key. So it gets a little smaller. If you have PowerPoint 365 subscription, you can insert icons straight from PowerPoint. Icons, I just used any three icons I could uh, see, like this pier and maybe this, <laughs> this Hinkali. Beautiful, great icons, really works with business well. And for the color, I did change it to white because since you have a strong color on this already, it would definitely look better if the icon is white. You can, of course, again, make the icon smaller by clicking on them with your shift key and control key. And this is it. This is how we made a very similar business oriented slide with a person in a suit using deposit photos for the gradient and the picture itself. You can get a 15% discount if you use the link in the description below from deposit photos. Once again, thanks to them for sponsoring the video and I hope we can create and collaborate a lot more design videos and PowerPoint videos like that. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and see you another time.